Move. Get up. Sounds like I'm fapping. Right. Damn it. There, if that doesn't do anything, I don't know what will. Well, it changed the camera! I don't know why the camera keeps shifting around. Okay, that didn't actually do... Oh, now... Oh, I got up earlier! I got up earlier! But, did that... I... I'm stoosed. Why do... Why does the game favour this wall? I really want to know what... Can I just jump out the bounds? Oh. Or if I wait long enough, will the boss just die? Or am I just locked in here? Because I can move now, but fat load of good that does me as well. I've gone I've gone somewhere, I've calmed down, I've started a new bloody episode. Fuck this shit. I'm on autopilot again, and the camera is still upside down. I thought it was allowed to hook shot his bloody face a few times. But it wouldn't even lock on. Oh yeah, I forgot an intro because I'm so enraged I haven't even cut the bl mm, I don't even know. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here for bullshit. In the last episode, bullshit happened. I walked into this bullshit mini boss and... Link loves the corner. And the boss has left the building. I cannot do anything. If I reload, he'll be back, but I can't do anything to him. So I've got to somehow get up, but the game won't let me, and I'm stuck in this room. If I hit re if I hit save and quit, guess what? i got to go through all the bloody dungeon again. Funny, because I, for once I actually have my sword, but I can't use it, because being flat as a pancake... Literally, once again, all we did in the last episode... ...was... let's see... Get a key... Climbed up the seemingly impossible ledge. You know the one in the fire room where you gotta jump up to that door. It looks like Link won't make it, but he will. If you do not have zero G. So that's two things. Got to this room. If you want to count the compass, then there you go. Another three things. That is literally it. And that's just nitpicking. You wouldn't normally say, Oh, I made a key. That's tons of progress. No. Fucking no. I don't care if I'm swearing my bloody brains out. This does not deserve the PG rating. Do not play this game even if you're 30. I'm like 20 coming 21. And I'm putting me, myself through this suffering. Would you just get the fuck up, you lazy excuse of a hero that is was originally my favourite. This game has not ruined my love for Ocarina of Time. Because when I go back to Ocarina of Time and play it on the 3DS, once I've beaten this, because I'm determined, and you can call that stupidity if you want to, but whatever. But, yeah, so far the, per the first five minutes of this video, me just going stupid in menus and Link being a pancake in the corner. I might have to redo this bloody dungeon for a third time. It's not like doing it twice already wasn't bullshit enough. Can you just get the... F Save st come in! Game over, yeah. Oh, you can finally move! Dead. Oh, you can finally move! A boss moves out of the way. Oh, you're finally out of the corner? You can't do nothing. <laughs> Whoever programmed Chaos Edition. I request an update. Remove zero G. It's not fucking me up at the moment, but most of my rage has come from that. The rest of this is just all the other effects annoying me. Not zero G, but to be fair, because that this is broken, I'm not even going to be able to get back into this room for another 20 f minutes or longer. Because if it took me an hour to climb two ledges, there is something wrong. That is not challenging. That's just horrendous. It's not fun. I can't even see what I'm doing still. If the camera could stop being upside down for once in this room, 
Right, I got out of that mess, but I don't know what that... Yeah, he's left the room now. As soon as the camera re... Oh my god, the camera. Why the camera? Seriously. I mean, look at this. I can't do anything. He's left the room. There's nothing I can do. I can die, and that's it. All save and quit and save my life. I must be stubborn as a mule at the moment. I'm going back into the menu one last time, and well, I'm gonna bloody well cut and get all the way back out of here. Ugh, this game. This look. Is this fun? Is this what you want to do for 20 minutes at a time? Just going in circles, doing literally nothing in the menus, just so you can take one step in the correct direction, like you want to do. Yeah, that's what I want to do for the next 20 minutes. Twirl my analog stick around in the menu, not choosing anything. Oh yeah, you know what, I will choose something. The same bloody item ten times, because apparently that solves everything. Camera's fixed, and I'm dead! Camera's fixed, and I'm not dead, but can I target him? I still not allowed to target him! He's actually still in the room though, funnily enough. And I did not die from that somehow. Can I lock onto him, please? I CAN'T GET MY ITEMS OUT! WHY?! It's one thing or another with this game! I tar- I can finally target him, I can finally move! Right, there's my bloody items. Now I can't target him again, and for some reason I have an infinite half a heart. I don't know why. Oh, I'm not taking any damage from the actual fire. He doesn't actually hurt me. Can I have my item, please? I just need this hook shot. Thank you! Right, let's do some damage! Fucking hell! If I quit, I would have had to go through another half an hour to an hour worth of hell just trying to get back to this point. Kill him! Kill him and give him a painful death! Right, where are my bombs? Where are my bombs? I do not care. I've had enough- wait, do Deconuts actually work against this guy? That's a question. No, they don't. Okay, it was worth a try. I've never tried that before. If anything, to just save my sanity would be nice. Get wrecked, save state, spin, and kill him. Get out of there before the explosion kills me. Grab those bombs, because I always need bombs. Don't force me into a wall, you son of a bitch. Holy shit! I had to cut that in a two episodes to get through. I am not happy! Because I wanted to beat this guy at least before ending the episode. No, I had to waste more of my bloody time. Because now I've got another edit video to edit, I could have just ended it right there and not do any more. And now, the next challenge! Can I climb onto a block? With steps, mind you, that Link should be able to use his fucking hands to climb. No, he wants to hop, because he's a fucking idiot. So I need to wait for Zero G to go away before I can climb onto a block. Because this is what I want to do in my life. You know what, just skip the whole bloody block climbing shenanigan, and just climb on the lift itself. Or the camera can go skew F and ruin my chances even more. That can happen. Michael Jackson moonwalk effect, can you please go away? I will be indebted to you if you would m very much go away. Thank you very much. Okay, now Zero G, if you could do the exact same, that would be super nice. I would be most gratified. And I will calm down, because no one likes me angry. I think my controller knows that from the last episode. I don't normally lose my temper like that. I had like a multiplier Octodad moment. No. Well, I guess. More like a Markiplier... I am toast moment. Or I am bread, whatever it's called. My okay, Michael Jackson moonwalk effect. I thought I told you to please go away. That doesn't mean come back without me actually moving. You could possibly come back later, but right now I want to climb this block. Look how long it's taken me to climb this block. I would have been out of this room far already about three minutes ago. It would have taken me two seconds to climb this block. It's taken me almost two minutes already. This is dumb. Zero G. Go away. You want to wind me up? You already have, you smegger. Alright! 
Coin Dozer, where are you? Let's play a bit of Coin Dozer again. Turn it up. No, that's turning it down. I said turn it up. Alright, still climbing the ledge. Come on, Coin Dozer. Load up. You hear that? That's Coin Dozer. Coin Dozer. I'm not going to actually pay attention to you again properly until you climb the bloody ledge, so you might as well just do it. I just hit the save state button. I've been sitting here for two minutes and literally nothing's happened, funnily enough. No other effects have been happening. This, well, maybe my shield, some of the shield has gone. Maybe I got stumpy every two, every so then. But I haven't been paying attention, so I'm just going to play. Oh, that's a giant coin. I'm level 40 right now on the on the normal coin dozer, so that means you have that in the casino one. And obviously one that already says coming soon, but you have to be level 50 to get that. Even if it isn't unlocked, you still have to be level 50 to reach it. But yeah, it's just... I don't know. Nothing really is happening on coin dozer, funnily enough. But you know, every time you get a coin, you get an experience point, so you got to use them. Oh, that's another giant coin I got. That's tons of coins. Oh, more bonus coins. Coinage. I suppose they should call it coinage. Seriously? It still hasn't done anything! I'm only holding it like this so I can hold up and keep it steady. So I had a shake there because I had enough shake built up. But I didn't use the whole bar funnily enough. But I have a bar now, I'll use that. There we go. Wow, that's bugging out. Uh, I'm gonna lose that, aren't I? Oh, no, 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 it was just bugging out. Alright, right. uh, well, I'm out of coins, and what do you know? If you have actually been paying attention to the little screen down there, well, yeah, down here, and I've switched the screens back around for whatever reason, you would have noticed that we've nothing has happened! That was at least two minutes of coin dozer, and literally nothing has happened. What the hell game? What, seriously, nothing in this room has happened for like over five minutes now. L literally nothing. Zero G won't go away, but no other effects are coming as well. I had to open my big fucking mouth. Five minutes of nothing, and this is what I get. Five minutes, folks, of just jumping at a ledge. Zero progress, coordinates-wise, has been made. And when you have to quantify meaningful progress via coordinates, you know you have fucked up on making a game. If that's all the progress you can make. Literally, just one X upwards or whatever would have been enough progress, because that would have mean, hey, zero G is gone, I'm ascending upwards, and therefore I'm going to grab the ledge, and therefore I can go onwards. No. Nope. I can't even have that one coordinate. I'm still on this pl- I'm still here. And now he decides to fucking jump after I bloody complain once a fucking game. And thank god this isn't bloody, um, Master Quest, because if there was something underneath that bloody platform, I would have had you. Don't push me through the wall, I fucking swear to... Demise. Yeah, that's it. How about that? No, stop walking. I don't want you to walk. No, stop. There we go. That worked. Save state. Aha! Why triangulating a bloody hookshot angle when I could just use my bomb?
The reason why I hate this dungeon in Chaos Edition is because it's a literal platforming nightmare, but you don't realise that until you actually realise, oh my god, everything is skewered. Well, that just happened, so I'm taking that. Oh wait, no I can't, because I can't press the switch in order to, um... Oh no, wait, no, I don't need to press the switch. I think I might just lucked out here. I think I might have just lucked out. Alright, let's get back onto that. The switch is rotated, and but so is the fire. And so is this pillar. So that means if I can get up here... That was a poor jump. Alright, I know how I can do this. I know the trick. Flip! Oh, I lost... <laughs> Zero G! Oh my god. Can I please? Are you, me? Are you serious? Even though the, the fire is rotated, I'm not able to touch this? Are you serious? Don't pull me away! What are you up to, game? I'm just trying here. Let me at least try before you ruin my life. Yeah, the, fort, the field is still there, isn't it? Bomb clip! Damn it. It was worth a try. Okay, so, yeah. You can see why I've been trying to hope to God that the fire wouldn't have hit me so I could open the chest. Because I thought, oh, I have to press the twist in order to make the chest appear, but no. I just remembered that it's the fire ring. But as the fire ring was skewered, I thought, hey, maybe I can open the chest because the fire's skewered. Doesn't appear to be the case. And you can see why I'm a little bit reluctant about this room, because as you can see, it's a freaking murder hole. And not only that, but I've got to climb up a ledge as well in order to even do it. Well, to be fair, I have to climb up here in order to press the switch in the first place. I guess what I could try and do is... See if I could trigger the switch somehow? Nah, it's not going to work, is it? Worked. No, okay, that's terrible. Well, that's annoying. One can wish, one can dream, but it was false hope. At least I tried. At least I can say that. Okay, everything's back to normal now, which is a bloody shame. Right, you know what? No, oh, why? That's like the one effect I do not need in this room. Right, I'm gonna stay against this wall. I better not be stuck to it like bloody glue, like in that bloody mini boss, the flare dancer. Because that was the. I, I literally had to. force RNG to even get through that, because it kept falling out of the level. I wasn't allowed to do anything. And I'm surprised I was able to climb that ledge pretty easily. The camera, I do not need this now. That is not going to help me climb- Oh my god, this is going to be a nightmare and a half, isn't it? What I'm going to have to do is walk around here and hope the camera will stop. It's not going to- okay. Oh my god, this is going to be horrible. That's a long shot. Wait, why did I open the chest like a normal... Why did I open the chest like a small chest? Did you see that? He kicked the chest and got the thing. He didn't do the usual... -na 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 -ba -ba -boo. He didn't do that. Instead, he just kicked the chest. Oh, maybe was it was it because it was originally replaced with a bottle? So the game just treated it as a normal chest because I already had it, but I didn't? Maybe. But that bottle is now gone. Which means I now legit has the hammer. So I don't have to hope an RNG. And I can't believe I got that hammer so fucking easily. So I can get something that you have to perilously walk across a chasm without any trouble. But standing in a specific spot just to slash a dude who runs around the level, I cannot do. And hell, I was able to go throughout that entire room without issue. With a bot with a pit that would have dropped me back to the beginning of the dungeon, and I would have to do it all over again. Because I do not have Fire's Wind. True, I have save states, but still. I could do all of that without issue. But. Climbing up ledges is the biggest problem here. 
this game is seriously fucked up if that is how progress can be defined. It's like, oh, all of these effects that stop you from moving, they happen during a battle, which wouldn't normally be an issue if the boss didn't leave in the first place, but for whatever reason the boss was. Can you... Okay, I don't know what my movement is going on. Okay, that works. I don't know what I did there, but that works. <sighs> And I was able to get the hammer with hardly any issue. What did I just do? I somehow clipped through the door. That was something new. Oh my god. Stop auto running, you moron. I don't need this in my life. I killed that one, and I lost my sword! I lost my sword! That is great! Alright, let's just snipe these bastards out of the air, because I've had enough of this. I'm put up with this bullshit long enough. I has this. I has the hammer, that's all I really needed here. Now I need to get that key in that one... Oh god, no, I just realised what I just did there. I realised what I just did. As soon as I dropped, my fate was sealed. I wasn't going to climb the ledge. Well, I probably would have eventually, but I wasn't going to waste time doing that. This will be faster. <sighs> Alright, speed. I am speed. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm fresh, tasty, delicious. Calm down and renewed, finally. Let's get through this son of a bitch of a temple. There, sniped. Hey, save state. If I can get those, that would be nice. Alright, that helps a lot. I'm thinking no more beeping. No more life support noises. Right, so what I need now... Is the hammer. Because funnily enough, in speedruns you wouldn't normally do it this way, I don't think. But, in this particular instance, this is the fastest way. And like I said... Even if the long shot would have helped me in this dungeon. I'm not doing the adult dungeons out of order because I know for a fact they're just going to be more harder than the child dungeons in terms of platforming. And, well, as well was that I only did um, Zora's River, f uh, no, the longer, in, um, what's it called? Jabba Jabba's Belly. I'm pressing the shield button, I'm not dropping it. Oh, now I did, but it's a bit... In the wrong place there. Right, I wanna press A to drop it, not chuck it. There we go. Save state, because I know for a fact this door ain't gonna be nice to me. Oh, that door was nice to me, funnily enough. And then the camera starts being weird out with literally no warning. And now I'm paper. You know what? Can we just reload and try that again? I don't, I don't enjoy that camera, to be fair. Right, that's. Oh my god, the game's actually lagging because of that. What the hell? Okay, that actually stopped things a little. No, don't change the cap. Don't keep changing my momentum that way. I want to drop here. I can see my shadow. I'm dropping here. I'm save staying. I don't care. I've got two hearts. I can swipe the drop if it decides to deal damage. Normally, it would stay on the platform and then climb up. But I know for a fact, if I climb up, it's never going to happen. So, in, in good time. Hit that switch, save that state, turn the camera. And we won't do that! Not why? Where am I? Save state. I was trying to climb into the door, but Navi decided to interrupt me. Oh my god, no. No! Can I, can I get up? Can I get up? I cannot even get up. Would you stop it? No, I'm trying to roll. I'm literally trying to roll here. I need to get off that frame. I just did it once, I can do it again. Navi! The one time! The one time you try to tell me something I don't need to know, you actually fuck me over! 
There is a time and place for your intellect, and not now, and you fucking ruined me. All I needed to do was... You know what? Fuck this. If all I needed to do was walk through a door, I'm just gonna... Moon... Why is the camera janky as well? I'm gonna die. Shut up, Navi. I can't even skip that. I was mashing buttons. That would have actually been helpful being up there, funnily enough. Right, so let it take me there. Wait, turn, if possible. No, it's too much. Alright, I'm trying to get to the door. Where am I? I don't even know where I am at that point. Actually, that kind of helps. If it would land me. I can't see what I'm doing! This is- Thank you, Navi! Thank you so fucking much! Seriously, if it isn't one thing with this game, it's another. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just punch my way through. Right, once I get up, I can get through that door and I'll climb up the bloody... Song of Time. Because I'm not allowed to walk through doors. Because Navi has to talk about a switch I've already pounded. If the switch is pounded, you don't need to tell me to pound the fucking block. Safe state here. Thanks, Navi. You've asked wipe of a fairy. Oh, the camera's actually now fixed, funnily enough. Interesting. It wasn't like that a second ago. Oh my god. Well, that was fair. Thank you. Wow! Holding one direction, I keep getting hit by everything. For fuck's sake. This is dumb. You better get up in good time. I'm not sitting here for another 20 minutes waiting for you to get up like last time. How we started this fucking video. I'm using fucking a lot. I've got to think of more bloody swear words. Vocabulary. That's fair. Get up. Let me get up when I have a possibility of getting hit again. No, that's where I just went. You idiot. Save state. Get through this door. There's the song of time block. Let me up. Here we go again, not allowed to climb, if Navi didn't freaking launch me away from what she was pointing out the obvious, after I hit the bloody obvious that she was pointing out, I could have just made a leap with backflip leap and I probably would have made it, but no, I want to sit here and do this another two times. So I'm cutting again. Thank you Navi, I'm not even climbing the block anymore. I'm not even climbing the block anymore, I was about to cut and look what's happening. No, can this room be skewered? Can I have the, like, the, the, just the key out of this chest? That'd be nice. Because I need this chest in order to get the big key, and I'm not going to try and risk going down there. Try to see if the big key room is skewered, so I can get past the gate and get the chest that way. I'm not going to try that, because I know for a fact it ain't going to work when I want it to. But when I come through the back way, just like with the shortcut, it's going to happen. So I'm going to cut, climb this ledge up, stop blabbering on about the same shit every goddamn time. And I'll see you when I'm about to pound that bloody switch. Good Christ almighty Lord Jesus Mary. Bull crap. I think that's his name. Why? Just stop this. I want to climb the block, not walk away from it. And I've lost my sword and it became a bottle of fucking bugs. Can it not become anything else? Can it not be like a magical wand that can like launch me anywhere? That'd be nice. Ah! God, I can't keep doing that on my arm. It hurts. Ledges. They're, all this game is, is wasting time climbing ledges. Link, put more effort into the jump. I can climb that without any issue, even if I was wearing the heaviest boots on earth, I'd probably be able to still make that fucking jump. Just make it, you pansy. Alright, that's it. I've had it. Take a fish, leave a fish. I've had enough. I've spent another five minutes climbing a fucking ledge. I've had enough. fish again. I don't know. Did that do something? That actually- oh okay. Take a fish, leave a fish, take it back again. That was the trick. Okay. How obscure do you need to be? Jesus. Just making sure nothing in my menu is fucked up other than quest stats because that's always fucked up. 
don't know why I saved in game. Oh, it didn't even bring me up the right bloody side. Oh wait, it's pushing me in that direction. Whoa, that was a jump. You know what, I'm happy about that. Oh shit, I've got to get back down there and then back up the block again. Oh, Would you? That is twice now, Navi. That is fucking twice you're telling me something after I've hit it. I know the switch is rusted. Why do you think I used the fucking hammer? And now I'm stuck on this wall. That's twice Navi has fucked me over. That is twice Navi has fucking st stuck me to a wall against my will. You know what the sequel of Chaos of Ocarina of Time Chaos Edition is? Nothing. Because Link wouldn't want to go searching for Navi after experiencing this bullshit. There's no Master Quest. There's no... Majora's Mask is what I meant. Good fucking Christ, am I right? Yeah, I could have actually made that, but I need to go in here and get this fucking key because I'm not allowed to play the game properly. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm stumpy, okay. I'm not even going to talk to your sorry ass. Now I've got to climb this block up again. I've got to climb this block again. To get out. Because this is what I want to do. I need to walk through that door, hit the... Yeah, I do actually need to pound that thing. But do I? I feel like I would actually... Yeah, I feel like I, would, I need this pillar. I don't think Zero-G is going to even let me get across, and even if I want Zero-G, it'll be the one time where it's not going to be there to get to the boss door. So I'm just going to say fuck that idea and get everything prepared anyway in case it does or does not happen. But that's only if Zero-G can actually go away at this particular instance so I can climb up the block again. Because there's no way I'm going to go all the way through that fire room again. The fire maze room again. With janky-ass camera and Michael Jackson just to climb up a bunch of blocks so I can pound the thing. If I can climb these two ledges and get through the door, then that's that. I can pound the thing, I can then wait for it to land, save the game, get back to the bottom without waiting forever with Zero-G. And then I can get the fucking boss key. I've spent almost five episodes in... I feel like I'm going to spend five episodes in this dungeon. And once again, I'm, nothing's happening. I'm cutting again until I can climb this block for another time. I might just do another take a fish, leave a fish, take it back again. Because apparently that's the secret. So I'm going to cut. For crying out loud, I am pushing forward, I am pushing backwards. Get out of that fucking corner. Oh, that can happen. As soon as I say I'm going to cut, I can somehow have superhuman strength and climb through. Bye! Why did I go toward the switch? Excuse me? Why? Why is the game turning me? Watch this. Watch this. The game is purposely pushing me off. It's not just censured, it's actually taking control away from me and forcing me off the ledge. Against my will, and when you open doors, that does not happen. I'm going to wait for autopilot to stop, because I think that's what's happening. Right, fabulous. Let's go. Alright, that time it didn't fucking happen. It was autopilot that was screwing me over that time. I'm fucking done! Let's go! Slowly. 